that babies ruin anything. Like, they can even ruin stuff before they're here, you know? Like, every time I see a pregnant woman and she puts her hand on something and goes, oh, I just can't wait for him to arrive, I think, honey, if you think you're uncomfortable now, wait till you find out how he plans on making his exit. Yeah. My sister was in, like, 20 hours of labor because they were waiting for her to dilate to a 10, and I didn't want to say anything, but I knew it wasn't going to get past, like, a 1 or 2 because I have one, and it's not a baby door. <laughs> That's why so many babies are born with pointy heads. Yeah. Frankly, I'm surprised they don't come out shaped like a cylinder. Uh, and then, then that kid just put her through hell, and that exact same day it was born, people are like, Oh, are you so happy to be an aunt? Do you love being an aunt? I was like, yeah, I'm so happy to be an aunt. I mean, I love it. If, you know, by that you mean I love seeing my sister tortured, followed by years of fatigue. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I had to say it out loud. Now I kind of get what they were saying. Oh, yeah, I do love it. That's <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to go now, but we just want you to re leave with this one thought. Children ruin everything. Yeah, Thank including you. vaginas, because okay. nothing six to ten pounds no, should come out of there. Talk about vaginas. They're, they're very small, Tony. You don't know. They're really, really small. They're very small. I brought a picture of mine. I don't want to see that. Actual size. Okay, I'm You know what? Good night. Thank you. I can't stop.